Hello, Brian here with another big medium small tutorial. This one's going to be a bit longer. We'll be learning how we can use the mesh to metahuman workflow in Unreal Engine 5. Before we start, I just want to point out that Renzo, Michael, and Gio's heads, along with many of the others from big medium and small packs, were so beautifully modeled and textured by Yulia Trushina, uh, whose Instagram we have linked in the description below. So go on over and give her a follow. First, let's uh, let's make a new folder called MetaHuman Staging, and then drag and drop Michael's head from within the characters control rig meshes modular folder. It will prompt you to either move copy or advanced copy. Let's use the advanced copy function to make sure we're not breaking our original somehow. Now, a very important step, we must enable both MetaHuman plugins and then restart the engine. Make sure we're still in our MetaHuman folder, then click Add, MetaHuman Animator, MetaHuman Identity. The engine will ask you to log into your Epic account here if you haven't already. Open up your newly created MetaHuman Identity, if it isn't already, then click Create Components from Mesh and then find our duplicate mesh in the MetaHuman staging folder. We need to move our camera around the scene to create some reference frames for the MetaHuman solve to work its magic. So uh, the first frame is called the neutral pose, which is always a front view. And you typically wanna use a long lens for this. So let's change the field of view and the viewport options to a value of 20 and then move our camera into position. You generally want as straight on a view as you can manage with little headroom. Click Promote Frame, OK, and then right click it and set Auto Tracking to On and Lock Camera. Now for that magic we were talking about. Click MetaHuman Identity Solve and once it's finished processing, zoom in with the scroll wheel and start adjusting the markers. Three things to keep in mind here. Uh, number one, there are more markers to play with if you toggle their visibility on the right, especially for the nose and eyes. Number two, if you make changes to an originally hidden marker, uh, you need to toggle its solve state to active as well. That way Unreal knows to include those markers in the next solve. Lastly, if you feel like you need more points, you can control left click a curve to add. After making any changes, always remember to click the identity solve again I'm gonna let this play out. If you have any questions specifically about what's going on here, uh, please leave a comment and, or join the Discord and ask there and we'll get back to you. Uh, some things to keep in mind, the crease is a little bit finicky. You might have to play with it. Um, you know, the eyes uh, are a very complicated part of the face. So it's uh, it stands to reason that it would be difficult to get things like model lids correct on the first try. Um, so again, play with the curves, play with the control points, um, and have a good time.
All right, we're in a good place with our head. So let's choose the tall sized average weight body from the left to fully prepare for the ingestion process. Click mesh to metahuman and select the second option. Log in at metahuman.unrealengine.com and find your character. You can use the custom mesh sub menu here at the top to spot adjust any areas that you're too lazy to go back into the solve editor to fix. and then proceed to edit the details of the metahuman like you normally would. It's probably a good idea to have the original model on another screen to better match on things like skin and eye color. Once you're happy, Add the metahuman to your project, then go to the bridge menu. It may ask you to enable all sorts of missing config settings once you have downloaded it and add it. So make sure to enable those and restart when prompted. It will also ask you to choose a DNA asset. I typically use the face mesh of whatever metahuman I'm importing. And there we have it. Here's our metahumanized Michael, along with attempts I've made with Renzo and Jiho. In the future, we may explore ways to reach an even closer approximation using conform meshes. For the next video, we're going to go over how to combine the MetaHuman and Special Ops blueprints so that our guys are all geared up and ready to get in the fight. As always, give this video a like, subscribe, drop a comment, all those things that you do with YouTube videos. And if you have any in-depth questions or just want to say hi, join us in the Big Meeting Small Discord that we've linked below.